Hello, my dear. So it's like six o'clock in the morning right now, and I leave for class in an hour. And it's kind of like woohoo. I don't know what that means, but whatever. Uh, anyway. anyway, um, I have 3D glasses. They're basically like non-functional sunglasses. I don't like how dark the lenses are. They don't look dark at all. Actually, they look kind of clear in this video, but they are very dark. If I put my hand behind it, you can see. Anyway, and apparently you're supposed to give them back to the movie theater, but I didn't realize that. So I kept mine from Up. This was from when I saw Up. So I did see Avatar in 3D. And about new nail polish. I'm making a video because I haven't made you a video in a while and I figure, hmm, I have time. So I bought, like, I was at the drugstore. Is it Fred Meyer? I don't know if you have Fred Meyers in Ohio. I guess you probably would, but whatever. So I was at there looking for something completely unrelated and they were selling OPI nail polish now, which is like, whoa. So I got two colors. And they're really, really pretty. And this one is hard to see because of the lighting. Uh, it's called Big Apple Red. I want you to be... Okay, well, actually, it's on my nails right now. Oh, damn it. I can't do this. And so is the black spot. It's on... Oh, the color's so bad. Anyway, it's a really, really pretty shiny red. Which I really like. And then I got this pink color, which... Is showing up pretty good. That's pretty close to what it actually looks like. It's a nice pink. I really like this stuff. Except it costs $10 each. So that's why I only got two. I was going to get three, but my mom was with me, so she's like, don't spend all the money. I was like, okay. Um, so what's new with you? You haven't been posting on LJ. You haven't been posting like stuff about yourself. I want to know what's up with you. What's up with you? Lost uh, premiered not last night but the night before and it was really good. It was really really good. It was really good. And last night I went to a lecture, a lecture on domestic abuse and the role that masculinity plays in domestic violence. Um, and it was really funny because apparently at UVO, because it was a UVO lecture, like, the fraternities have to go to, like, certain lectures. Like, they have to. And this is one of them. So the entire room was packed full of frat boys. And I was just, like, really, like, they did not care. They were being really disruptive and, like, rude during the lecture. So it was, like, that's really uncool. Like, maybe you should pay attention because you probably need to learn this stuff. Um, but it was a really interesting um, lecture, and wow, where did this come from? What the hell? That's creepy. A brand new pencil just magically appeared on my computer. Interesting. And I'm reading this book right now. I don't know if I showed you this book before. It's Kropotkin. He is a Russian prince and um, anarchist thinker. And... I know that this is like so not your kind of reading. It's like really, really funny why I'm even saying this, but I think you should actually read this. Or like you can go online and read some of his, um, because these are just his essays. Like he has like a ton of different essays. And there's a particular one called Appeal to the Young, which I swear I've talked about. I swear I've talked about it. But I think that you should definitely read it. Just, just read it. Like it's really, really good. His writing is really good. I'm like sort of in love because I think that he's just really brilliant and amazing and I went to see my seventh grade science teacher who really was the biggest influence on me when I was young um, and he was really the only person when I was young who believed in me and believed that I could do stuff and um, he means a lot to me and um, I haven't seen him in a long time and I went to go visit him at he still teaches at the middle school and he it was amazing. It was really, really good. It was a really great visit, I think, and it was really fun, so it was good. And then, um, well, I posted on live journal, so you probably already read it, but I got to hang out with Alex a lot yesterday, and that was really fun, and, um, 
I really like him. And you know what song by Taylor Swift? We like it's like what's that called? You belong with me or we belong or you belong with me, is that what it's called? Um that is what I think about Alex. So I think that um we belong together. And he doesn't see it, obviously, because he has a girlfriend or whatever, but am I talking too quiet? I don't know. I hope you can hear this and don't have to, like, turn the volume up. You know what's weird is I have Spock ears, um, or elf ears or whatever you want. I can't. I'm just going to turn this way. See? A lot of babies, when they're born, their ears are pointy, but they straighten out, and mine never did. So I have elf ears, and... That's why I wear my hair covering my ears most of the time because um, it's kind of embarrassing, but it's kind of cool at the same time. So anyway, um, and I'm being really quiet because my parents are right out there and I'm just like, shh. Um, so yeah, I guess I will see you later and, well, not in real life, but on this channel and hopefully on LiveJournal because you need to post more. You post a lot on Tumblr, which is good, but LiveJournal. I don't know, and I haven't checked your WordPress. I don't know if you've been posting on there or something, but I will check. Anyway, ta-ta. I love you. That's a legit heart. Well, I don't... How does... Nah, okay. There we go. That, that's pretty good. Anyway.